Oh, you have been with Mubango, I don't know, is it for 20 years? 19. 19? Oh my gosh. Ah, it's been so long. So, I'm so I, like, it's been super, super long. Yeah. I mean, I, I grew up watching you. And here I am, guys, interviewing her. <laughs> so, <laughs> how has the journey been? And okay, before we can even go there, before you answer that one, uh, how did it all start? Yeah. I was doing auditions for Lion King. Uh-huh. Um, I've always been this short. Mm. <laughs> you know, I've done, I didn't cut off my legs in any way. You know, like, I got there and I sang, and as you can hear my voice, the way it is, yeah. I don't have a specific voice that I can sing, so I can sing from soprano to baritone. Yeah. And that was the problem, that if they, they said to me, if we give you one voice to sing yeah. all the time, it's going to hurt your vocal cords. Oh. So you are so neutral. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was like, mm, okay, cool. And I walk out there. Uh-huh. And, then they, they and how old were you uh, by that time? I was 20. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then this guy was like, would you like to come to Johannesburg? Mm-hmm. And I said, mm, why not? Yeah. So I came to Johannesburg. Mm-hmm. I stayed in Johannesburg for a long time. Yeah. And the other day, the very same guy mm-hmm. said to me, would you like to act? Who's this guy? Dr. Maganjo. Okay. Oh. And I said, does it pay? <laughs> I like that question. Very important. And it's like... <laughs> It depends on your experience. I'm like, okay. bring it on. Then he tells me that he is the one who started writing Mubango. Okay. I was like, so 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 Mubango by that by that time it was not yet there. It was there. Oh, okay. It's been there since 1997. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hmm. And they gave me the room. I was a terrible actor. Okay. I was terrible. I remember I was a horrific. Oh. And. They worked on me until they are satisfied that I can grow on my own. So already, but you were on screen, even with this terrible that you're talking yes. about. Yes. Yeah. You don't understand the kind of job they had to do behind the scenes for me to appear oh. on television. Do, do, do you still watch those clips? Do you have them somewhere where you can be like, oh my gosh, what was going yes, on I here? <laughs> I do. I watch the other one there that is like, Lord, God, oh, oh. <laughs> it's me. What is this? <laughs> No, but the truth of the matter is mm-hmm. everything that I have done mm-hmm. is a, you could have done better. Yeah. What is that? Why so do you that? still say you could have done better like yes. things that you have done last year, last week? I'm talking about uh, the things that I've, I've done uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, why? Yeah. <laughs> you should have done better mm. because you know, <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. Mm. That's, that's mm. another problem. Like, mm. it's a, it's a, it, I think it's a, it's a weakness. Mm-hmm. Being a perfectionist is good to a certain yes, point. Yes, yes, yes. Beyond that, it yes, just something becomes a, 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 something that mm-hmm. procrastinates your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how is the journey? Not so smooth. It yeah. has been a learning, learning uh, experience. Mm-hmm. It was an everyday thing. You are learning and you wake up in the morning you're like, yes, really? I'm yeah. still going there? Yeah. God, really? When will I arrive? <laughs> <laughs> it's still a long way to go. Yeah. Um, do you guys get like some, I don't know, I don't know, like you've been with Mobango for like 19 years now. Yeah. What do you get for being with a, 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 a Sophie for that long? Do you get like an award from like the production itself or what? I don't think an award matters. Yeah. Will I be telling people, you see, that's an award for being uh, with uh, <laughs> uh, Mobango for 19 years? Yeah. I think. It's honor. Mm-hmm. It's my ability to be loyal and having mm-hmm. somebody to be loyal to with yeah. to something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm loyal to them as they are loyal That's to me. Yeah. And we have an amazing relationship right now. Mm-hmm. That that is the biggest award ever. And that is the biggest example to everybody who looks at me now. Mm-hmm. That, um, your loyalty is paramount. <laughs> you understand? Mm-hmm. So you cannot look at me and be like, "Yo, she's been moving on for so long." Yeah. When is she moving on? <laughs> I will move on. Yeah. But I don't think I will move on as in removing myself from moving. I will move on and do other things on but my side. But also, I think it's not even a, a, a matter of uh, like other people saying it should be about you. If you feel like I think it's time I do whatever. I mean, it's all dependent on you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
until he tells me to leave, I'm mm-hmm. not going. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like that. So you portrayed this beautiful character of Susan, mm-hmm. married to a chief, um, as I'm doing the girl. So you are the first one, yes. Your Highness. Mm-hmm. Um, so how oh, does it okay. feel within oh, yes. that character? <laughs> it's the heaviest character ever mm-hmm. because of she's not very expressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she keeps a lot inside, and you must also understand that um, I might not be Susan, but I carry her. Yes. And I carry her shortcomings. Mm-hmm. And when I know that I carry her shortcomings, when people speak bad about her, I get very emotional. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. I get very defensive, like, uh-huh. ah, no. what are you saying? Yeah. You know? And I think my, my, my boss once told me, like, no, you are very emotional. Yeah. I'm like, duh. I'm this woman, mm. you know, and because of that, a lot of things that has happened to her mm-hmm. tend to make me bitter. Yeah, I'm I'm sitting there just defending her. So, uh, so whatever that happens to to Susan tends mm. to make Momera like bitter. Bitter, like uh-huh. when when they want to discuss the character uh-huh. and they ask me a question, bitterness come out. You <laughs> become very defensive. Yeah, Anna, you can't do that to her. Mm-hmm. Why are you doing that to yeah, her? Yeah, yeah. She's She's as real to mm. me uh, as, I don't know, as, a, as somebody I know intimately. But, but I understand, I mean, it, it's, you've been with that role I mean, almost all your life, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a mother and I, I have seen mothers and I mm. know why she has lost a child mm. and she has taught me all this, uh-huh. you know. Uh-huh. She has taught me how to care for, for a child. Uh-huh. How to mourn a child. She has mm. taught me all these things. Yeah, yeah. I've never had a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and the woman has lost a child, and mm. I have had that experience mm. because of her. Mm. And also, I mean, when we, we watch Mobango, there this, I don't know, should I say, um, the, the, the wife, the, the women that the chief would marry, very different from Susan. Yes. I mean, they're kind of like models, or however one would like to portray them. So now, how does that feel when now a man comes with this man who's a total opposite of you? When, when a, another woman comes, mm-hmm. basically you must also understand that in the world that we live in, yeah. naturally, you do have those um, trophy mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. that when a man wants this woman, he just wants to be yeah. with his friend, be like, yeah, that's, that's my woman. Mm-hmm. And have other men going, oh, <laughs> yeah. you know. Susan becomes more of a stability. Mm-hmm. You know she's just alone. Yeah. You know she's not going out mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Right? Uh, this, is, this is refuge. Mm-hmm. This is where you run to mm-hmm. all the time. And it'll take forever mm-hmm. for the chief to actually found, realize that this is this is my refuge, this yeah, is where I run to. Without a, they come, they go, she's mm-hmm. dead. Mm-hmm. And if she tries to leave, he fights like a bull. Yeah, no, no. You yes. understand? Mm-hmm. Because without a, he's nothing. He's nothing. So, but what would you say now, let's just uh, talk in a normal relationship yeah. as women, and let's say there is no um, polygamy or whatsoever, it's just a normal relationship. Here you are, you have this man who constantly bring other women, even if we can call it cheating or whatever the case may be. What would you say to that woman out there? Any time you hear that your man is cheating, mm-hmm. that's none of your business. Okay. If he brings a woman in front of you, he has no respect for you. Mm. I don't see reasons why you should be sitting in that kind of relationship mm-hmm. because you have lost respect mm. from from this man. If you walk into your house and you find your man with another woman, he has no respect for you. Mm-hmm. If the cheating is outside and you hear by people, yeah. eh, hold your peace, that has nothing to do with you. You haven't seen <laughs> hold anything. Your <laughs> you haven't seen anything. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Uh-huh. So do not destroy your relationship based on Mabari Bari because that is a dangerous mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. So if he hasn't shown you, mm-hmm. he still respects you. Mm-hmm. If he shows you and he hasn't come to you and said, I want to marry another woman, yeah. he doesn't respect you. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, do you want to stay in a relationship that 
has no respect for you as a person because yeah. the more a person portrays that they don't respect you, you start not respecting yourself too. Mm, mm. You sit because you know where can I go? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you start raising small kids that have no self-esteem mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. as a mother, everything that we are, we actually suckle from the breast. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to raise young women who look down on themselves? Mm. Do you want to raise young men who really doesn't know where they stand? Yeah. When a young man sees their father not respecting their mother, they will not respect women. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. So you, uh, with the character that you are portraying, you are in a polygamous relationship. I mean, a marriage. Um, what's your point on that? What's your view on on, on polygamy? Well, it's our culture, mm -hmm. but it better not happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, it really is our culture. It's, mm -hmm. it's who we are. Yeah. Um, it's always been. It's an African culture, yes, yes. and I mean every African ethnic group. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yes. Polygamy is who we are, mm -hmm. and especially in the royal families. Mm. Um, that's why uh, I'm, I'm from a royal family. Okay. That's why. Um, so chances are you going to be married. By God forbid. <laughs> Guys, she doesn't know. No, ah, uh -uh. no, ah, uh -uh, please. Hmm. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think I can, I can tolerate the kind of torture royal people go through. Okay. I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm too outspoken. I would probably tell them all. Mm -hmm. I'm very much outspoken and I'm, I'm a bull, I'm a fighter. Mm -hmm. no. I have short man syndrome. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm short and I just feel like the world is against me already. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I really need to ask this. Are, are you a feminist? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm human. Mm -hmm. I'm very human. I fight for both sides mm -hmm. when it's necessary. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not, eh, oh, you women mean, power, how yes, are we supposed yes, to yes. Uh, multiply if we are women power? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. So in one of uh, the interviews that you have conducted, you speak about um, at a point in your life how people would call you ugly. I don't know if it was on social media or what, but please, please take us through that uh, era in your life. When you, you, you actually hear something like that mm -hmm. a lot in a, in a in your life mm -hmm. i remember this little incident we were attending we were all doing a wedding on mobile yeah. and it was me Furuan, yeah. and um, uh, sundani okay so somebody took a picture of us the yeah. three of us yeah. and posted it on social media yeah. and someone commented oh my god how can you have three ugly women in one place sure and I thought to myself... From one woman to... Yeah. Yeah. So I thought to myself, I wonder how this person is. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, from where they are. I feel yeah. sorry for them, mm -hmm. but uh, you are so broken inside yeah. that yeah. you want to project whatever it is that you are feeling to other people. Mm -hmm. And of course, Going through social media and hearing what people yes. can say mm -hmm. about you, you know, as a public person. Yes, yes. You learn, you just develop mm -hmm. a, a thicker a skin. skin yes. you know. Oh my God, she's so ugly. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, she's so yeah, ugly. Yeah. That's all right. Mm -hmm. That's your opinion. Yeah. Maybe you should ask me mm -hmm. what my opinion about me is. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I'm a masterpiece. Yeah. I think I was created deliberately. I'm not a mistake mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And um, don't blame me if you think I'm ugly. Blame the creator. Yeah. But what he has instilled in me is that I am a work of art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ugly as you think I am. Mm -hmm. Like, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, you, you should see me looking at myself in the mirror. I'm proud. I'm satisfied. I'm like, oh, hello, hello, sister. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, this is the quote that I got on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. It says, um, love is supposed to make you feel like you are a super being. Self-love, on the other hand, makes you a god. What does that mean? That means that when you provide yourself, when you supply yourself, mm -hmm. With enough love, there's nothing you can do. 
we, uh, we were, I think we were taught because our parents had to love us. Yeah. So we think that love has to come from outside. Mm. You know, we think, love me, love me, love me. Yes. We are forever looking for who to love. But if you sit and you love yourself, mm -hmm. you realize that loving yourself doesn't actually mean buying new clothes mm -hmm. and nothing. Loving yourself goes beyond simple I'll buy myself a new clothes, I'll go, mm -hmm. I'll take myself on a holiday. Mm -hmm. Loving yourself means arming yourself, you know, reading a book and making yourself relevant. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. self-love means that you need to be self-absorbed. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I mean self-possessed. Yeah. It's about you. Mm -hmm. It's all about you. Yeah. It begins in you, it yeah. ends in you. Mm -hmm. So, you don't need supplements from outside. Yeah. You're doing well. Yeah. You're beautiful. Yeah. When you have self-love, you become like God because mm. He is self-sufficient. Mm. You know, yeah. like if He did not create us for worship, yeah. He would have done it by Himself. Mm. Worshipped Himself. Mm. So when you when when He worships Himself, He loves Himself. Yeah. You are full of wisdom. Oh my goodness. So we come from a background where uh, many females are expected to aspire to marriage. I think you know this. And to make choices. But yet when we are making those choices, we need to put in mind that um, it is very important that we get married. Mm -hmm. What is your view on that? Mm, it is important to get married, but it is important to be successful in every aspect of life. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying people should not get married, but yeah. it shouldn't be a point of arrival. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be, I made it. I made it. I'm married. Hashtag I'm blessed. It should yeah. be one of the blessings mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, I come from a family, like I said, mm -hmm. royalty. You walk in, when are you getting married? Yes. As if I'm going to be the one proposing this marriage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm an actress. Mm. I have a house. I have a car. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm doing well. Mm. Can't you celebrate that before you ask me mm. to add that mm. something? You know, mm. celebrate that with me. Then I will aspire to become more. You cannot then push aside my mm. successes to actually place it yeah. to marriage. Mm. And not only that, I'm also a prophet. Oh God, mm. um, it's not easy for. A person like me to actually subdue all this that I am, yes, 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 and become a wife. Mm -hmm. I will marry a man that will understand my gift, mm -hmm. my calling, and everything that I am, mm -hmm. my aspiration. Yeah, my name is Maumela. It's no, there's no way you can put a lid on me. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Uh -huh. you fight, uh -huh. you know. So, I think young ladies must aspire to become women before they become wives mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because these heads that we keep wearing as women mm -hmm. you are first a baby then you become a girl then you become a young lady mm -hmm. then you become a woman mm -hmm. then you become a wife mm -hmm. then you become a mother yeah. there is six heads that you're supposed to wear mm -hmm. and you must wear them conservatively yes, 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 don't yes. don't jump any don't you need to understand each one of them mm -hmm. because if you are not a woman before you, you become a wife, mm -hmm. you're going to make the poor guy suffer because yeah. you don't have an identity. Mm -hmm. But then what can you say to young women who are really, I don't know if you should say desperate, but I would like to use that term for marriage. They are not desperate for marriage, they are desperate for love. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a development. You need to start from scratch. You need yeah. to crush everything you think you know. Yeah. And start looking at yourself mm -hmm. with a different eye. Mm -hmm. then, so I would say mm -hmm. mostly to all those women mm -hmm. that are desperate for marriage, coming from a family that they keep uh, demanding that mm -hmm. they get married. Marriage is a blessing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you're getting married, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. You know, God said that we must multiply yeah. and that's how we will multiply. Mm -hmm. But Remember, you still have to have your own aspirations yeah. as a woman because mm -hmm. you know, the Bible says that a woman should submit mm -hmm. to her husband. Mm -hmm. So if he doesn't want you to do some things, you must submit. Mm -hmm. So now I want just to come to your academy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to refer the name. Um, it's um, 
African Academy of Cin uh, Cinematic Arts. Yes. So what made you start this beautiful academy? It was an accident. <laughs> I kid you not, like, um, I wanted to, to start a school with someone else and we didn't go through. Yeah. Uh, the other day, this other friend of mine was like, you know what, I want to start a school. Mm -hmm. you know? I think I was coming from Limpopo. Yeah. When I got into the house, they really put plans down. Then mm -hmm. I'm like, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah. And we started. Mm. And this is where we are now, yeah. we're on the 5th year. Okay, yeah. well, where is it based? It's in Rwanda right now, mm -hmm. we used to be based in Mawane, so we okay. have to, to, to move to a safer place because mm -hmm. our students were very, very um, scared of the surrounding okay. areas um, in Mawane. Yeah. So we had to move into a place that uh, is much more safer mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. What do you offer there? What is it that uh, people can look out for? So, in the academy, we offer everything film. We okay. offer cinematography, producing, we offer uh, directing, you know, whatever it is on film, including yeah. directing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how was your first graduation? Ooh, hello, <laughs> how are you doing? Yeah. We had actually. Um, planned it in an African red carpet mm -hmm. thing. So yeah. the, the, the student had to... Uh, so the theme was Wakanda. Oh, Wakanda. Thing yes. was yeah, yeah. yeah the, 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 the theme was Wakanda. So everybody had to go into their culture yeah. and come up with uh -huh. how they view yeah. Africa. It's funny because I've never... I mean, not funny, but very interesting. I mean, throughout all our graduations that we have, mm. I've never had a themed uh, graduation. That's beautiful. Well, normally, mm. uh, but then again, you must realize that mm. this is a film Hello? school. Yeah. We are just introducing them to the red carpet. Mm. When you are mm. then, you know? uh, in the industry, yeah. this is how you walk mm. the red carpet. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we actually did it like it's an award ceremony. Mm. You know, mm. red carpet, they had to walk the red carpet. Mm. We do have the clips on, on, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of how the whole thing was done. Okay. So how can people see all those clips? What's the name and all that? Uh, the name is AACA mm -hmm. on um, YouTube. On Instagram, my AACA. Okay. On Facebook, African Academy of Cinematic Arts. Okay. Okay. So basically, even our our um, uh, website yes. is aaca.co.za. Mm -hmm. So every information you want is there. Yeah. Okay. And then also coming to your music, I know I didn't ask you this. Mm -hmm. uh, where can people get your CD or listen to your music, whatever the case may be? Well, uh, right now we actually didn't distribute the, yeah. the album in stores. It's non, it's actually online. You yeah. can have it on Google Play, okay. YouTube, and um, iTunes mm -hmm. and Spotify. Yeah. Oh my God, we distributed yeah. everything yeah. online. Because I have it on my iTunes and also I, I check it for music videos on um YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're such an amazing woman. You are such a beautiful and phenomenal woman. Um, thank you so much for um, creating this beautiful uh, time. What is one thing that you'd like to add before we end this interview? Uh, there's something that I've been uh, thinking about lately, uh, that human suffering mm -hmm. of people blaming time on their inability to be successful. Mm -hmm. There is no time like the one you have right now. Yeah. You cannot blame, you know, if only I did, I did, I did. Yeah. Uh, that blame takes away the ability mm -hmm. to appreciate where you are right now. Mm -hmm. And you're still looking for, if only I could win lotto. If only I could. This moment right here, if you are fulfilled with this moment right mm -hmm. here, you have succeeded in something. Success is not the amount of money you have in your bank account. Yeah. The amount, the success is knowing that you are moving forward. Mm -hmm. And you are here now. Mm. So, if we keep blaming what we didn't do to where we are now, we will never appreciate what God has done for us right now. I'm looking at COVID-19, mm -hmm. and yes, I weep 
for those people that actually has lost their lives. I am living through it. It is the most amazing thing that I, I, I appreciate the fact that I'm alive right now. I appreciate life more. Every day is okay. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, like I've, I've met people that went through that situation and mm -hmm. someone will say, you are very, very, very heartless. And I'll be like, when you have gone through, when you have actually contracted the sickness mm -hmm. and then come through the other side and you're still working, mm -hmm. you, need, you, you need to receive an award. Mm -hmm. You need to have a salary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've done a good job. Somebody might pay you money and be like, you are an example of what life is about. Mm -hmm. So let's appreciate this point. Just this here where we are now, not what we do tomorrow now here. Yeah. You know, because the Bible says we need to be trusted with little mm. so that we can be reliable for bigger things. Mm. So if you can't trust the little time that God has given you, you're looking for, if only somebody can give me an opportunity, mm. the opportunity is you, you're breathing. Mm. I was telling a friend of mine yesterday that, you know how we never discuss that we breathe? Mm. We take it for granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you do not think about the fact that oxygen is something provided. It's not something that is in your body. It's mm. provided. You breathe in, you breathe out. And it happens automatically, yeah. but you don't think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The minute you stop breathing mm. for a minute, that's when you will know that this thing is... very important. Yeah. Mm. You know, your input are perfect because I feel like this interview literally spoke to me more than any other thing. And I think I'm more grateful that it happened at this particular moment mm. and I mean this interview is beautiful for me especially and thank you so much thank you so so much thank you so much Lord yeah. Almighty <laughs> guys, sorry I didn't mean to put myself <laughs> guys this is the end of our interview please make sure that you subscribe and of course I do put out all the details about the academy and all that and how you can put get a hold of her uh, in the description box. Please make sure that you subscribe and watch the videos. Bye guys. Bye bye. Bye.